Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be um, looking at um, how I modeled this AT6 Texan. Now this here is all done with forms. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's take a quick look at something here. I want to spin the propeller around so I'll animate joint and there it goes. All right. So like I said, I'm going to be looking at um, modeling this, and I used um, forms to model this whole airplane. Now, I get a lot of questions about um, form modeling and surface modeling, which is the best. Uh, to be honest, I don't think one is better than the other. I just think one is more appropriate to use than the other at certain times. And um, for this particular airplane, I could have used forms. Excuse me, I could have used um, um, the formers and surface modelers, but um, at the time, I just felt that... Um, using a form was just faster to do it. So I went ahead and did that. So let's take a look at some of this um, from the beginning, how it got all started with it. So move this back on the timeline. Okay. And go ahead and click this play here. Okay, I saw there I put in the um, the canvases pictures, and then I went ahead and used a form to make the, the fuselage first. And it's showing all the parts that I made here. All the sketches. And then um, the planes, um, planes at angles and stuff like that too that I used. And also um, all the sketches that I used to put the, um, the, um, the color of the planes and the flags and stuff in the back. I don't know what they call that, um, how to pronounce the word exactly, livery or livery on the plane, how I did that too. And um, believe it or not, I mean, this model looks complicated to model, but it's quite simple to do. Um, if you watch a lot of my videos, all the stuff that I did to model this particular airplane, I've done in all of my other airplanes too, how I went ahead and did those. It's, okay, it's still running here. Okay, and there it is, how all that was done. Let's roll back again to the beginning here. Okay, now let's take a look at the timeline here, how things were done. What I did here, starting here, is um, I put in the canvases. Let's turn the canvases on and turn the bodies off. We can turn this picture off too here. And turn off the spinner since it is a, um, this here is a um, component. So we turn this off. And turn the um, canvases on here. Okay. Like I said, I could have used these formers to model this particular airplane, but for speed, I went ahead and used forms and um, then match the shape to the forms of the fuselage here. And I went ahead and put the side view, the right side, the top, excuse me, the, the top and the front view. And uh, so this would be the side one here. This is this one here. Right here. And lined it up with, um, with this. Okay, once I've got those canvases, this is pictures all on the canvases here, like you see it's all lined up here. The top view, side view, and front view. Got those in there. 
Then next, I used a form here to make the fuselage in the center here. And I should have labeled all this stuff, but I did not, and that's not a good practice to get into. So um, when you do this type of stuff, it's best to go ahead and label all the stuff while you're doing it. So if you want to go back to it, you can go back to it. But anyway, down here, went ahead and did the um, fuselage body here. And you can see the outline of it. And then I shaped that. So that shape there is what I did. And as you can see, how it looks from the picture too. Then next, I drew half of the spinner here. Not the spinner, I mean the, um, this cowl here. Sketch this portion here and then, as you see down here, after I sketched that, um, that section, then I revolved it to give me the shape of this. And then I moved it down because it looks like it was probably too high or too low, so I moved it. Then I add in another plane. Turn on the bodies again. And then I did the, um, the canopy next. As you can see here, it's lit up here of um, how that looks. Then I shaped the canopy next. Then, looks like I put a plane at an angle here, or a plane, offset plane, here, back here. And then I did the, um, the horizontal stab back here. And like I said, if you watch um, a lot of my other videos, there's nothing different on this plane that I've done from other planes. Um, there's no tricks or um, something new or anything like that that I introduced doing this model. It, um, like I said, it's, it's pretty much all done the same when it comes to um, form modeling, um, other models that I've done here. All right. Then the wings, again, let's see here. Well, that's a lot of sketches. But pretty much the, like, the hardest thing on this airplane is, um, was the fuselage, just making the fuselage, getting it shaped correctly. And um, the wings are pretty simple to do, to give the... Um, this section here, uh, let's take a look at this in front, see if they have dihedral here. And they do, they go up. So to do that, 
what you do, you put your profile again. Um, let's turn off the bodies, turn the canvases on. And now, like I said, I wish I had labeled everything so I could go back quickly to it, but um, ugh, I digress. So I can find the profile for the um, the wing. Just give me a second here. Okay, there it is. Now, here's a profile I use for the wing, and that should be on the center profile or the um, this one here, and it is. Now. Since the wings come straight out here, okay, let's have a quick look at something here too. Um, this wing, so let me know what I did. Okay, I went ahead and um, drew the lines out here on the plane again. I created the plane off of this line here. Plane at an angle is what I used. And came straight out with this and then looked at this from the top view. And then follow these out here. Then once that was done, then um, I used a sweep. Then just use a sweep from here and um, use these two back here. The, yes, the um, guide rail and path. And then that gave me the first section of the, um, the wing. And since this goes up here now at an angle, then the next thing you did is um, what I did Now I'm pretty sure there's a sketch in here with a, um, a line from here to here, and then you want to use another plane at an angle and use that center line to match this angle here coming up. And then you just repeat the process, what I did um, over here. Let's take a little more and see what's... Um... Okay, here we are. Then we have this here, and then use a sweep again. So there's a plane here. So what I actually did is put a plane here, then projected this profile onto this plane here. And once that was projected on there, Then um, use a sweep to sweep that on out. Yeah. Okay. So that's just a quick overview of how I modeled this. And um, if you have any questions about um, this or anything like that, or if you want to see or learn how to model this particular airplane, um, you want to see me model it in front of you, or not in front of you guys, but um, make a video on modeling this, leave a comment down below, and I'll go ahead and do that. And um, like I said, the model is not hard to model. It's, um, it just takes some time to do this. But um, it's not hard at all. And um, yeah, so 
If you actually want to see me model it, just leave a comment. And uh, if I get enough interest, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to uh, model this as well. And um, yeah, but so that's going to do it for for this. And um, once again, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like my videos, hit the like button as well. And if you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and leave them down in the comments or just comment on my channel in general um, what you'd like um, to see me do or something in the future or, or if you have any questions or anything like that. And also, i um, like to invite you guys to join my Facebook group and my Patreon site. Both are called Cadbill Fly RC. And um, become a member on Patreon and... Um, if you like my videos too or anything like that, um, send a super thanks or anything. And um, like I, I've said in my other videos, I'm trying to make this a full-time job teaching you guys how to model these airplanes and stuff like that. So if you can um, um, help the channel out by just hitting that subscribe button. And um, if you want to do more, um, become a paid member over on Patreon and um, lots of stuff over there to look at and download too. And um, so that's going to do it for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.